In this video I'm going to give you a brief overview on how to create, import and migrate a Hyper-V network virtualization gateway. In VMM there's a service template you can use to deploy clustered VMs for a network virtualization gateway. But a lot of people have a hard time deploying the gateway with the service templates. In my personal experience I have encountered numerous issues. Last week I have created a tool for deployment and migration of Hyper-V network virtualization gateways. The tool is created with PowerShell. This tool will deploy and configure a two-node Hyper-V gateway virtual machine cluster and when the deployment is finished you can import it into VMM. There is also a feature to migrate VM networks between gateways clusters with this tool. When you open the tool you need to enter the virtual machine manager server name and connect to it. Next it will retrieve all settings from VMM. Select the management network and subnet for the VM to be joined in. Specify the internet connection by selecting the front-end network and subnet. Select the back-end network, that is the standard switch which you connect the gateway VMs. Next we need to specify the VMM run as account. This is used when adding the VM gateways into VMM as a network service. Select the template to use for deployment. You might have noticed here that you can also deploy generation 2 virtual machines. Select from the list the cluster where you want to deploy the VMs to. When the cluster is selected, the cluster nodes are available as targets for the specific nodes you want to deploy. Define names for the node VMs and the cluster account and define the IP address. This has to be an IP from the management network pool. The local administrator password for the virtual machines is retrieved from a RunS account you specified over here. Next click on deploy. It will ask for credentials. These credentials are used to execute tasks on the Hyper-V host cluster and inside the VMs. The first step is checking remote PowerShell. When you run this tool from a VMM server there are no changes needed as the VMM installation already configured this on all nodes in the VMM cluster. When you run this on a management server where you have the VMM console installed it will configure WS MAN CRED SSP and NTLM only for server authentication. Then it will start deploying the VM nodes. Failover clustering and routing are installed from the roles and features. The adapters are renamed and the network profiles are assigned. The backend configuration will configure the VM nodes to be connected to the standard switch we specified earlier. In this step the possible owner and the preferred owner are configured as these machines are deployed highly available, but they are not allowed to be live migrated in the future. Now the connection is established to the Hyper-V host. In the root of the cluster shared volume it creates a VMM disk folder and within that a folder referred to the cluster name, containing two VHDX files, one for the quorum and one for the cluster shared volume. When the nodes have started, the disks are formatted and a new cluster is created. Storage and networking is configured and the RS cluster resource is activated. And that's it for a deployment. You might need to set some static routes for management connectivity. Go to the import tab. Select the host groups you want to attach this network service to. Then select the provider address logical network and click on import. The network service will be imported and connected to the correct adapters. Now we are going to migrate an existing network to a new cluster. Let's verify internet connectivity on server V801. Then I'm going to look up my existing IP address. For testing I have created a NAT rule and a VPN connection. The tool will also migrate these. Let's verify my IP address and the relation with the VA01. Now go to the Migrate tab and click on Load Gateway Data. We need to refresh the data as we have a new network service installed. You might want to use the Migrate tab in the future as a standalone migration tool. Select the Source Gateway cluster. You see the networks that are residing on this cluster. You see that one network has a VPN connection. When this is true, a warning will appear that the migrated network needs to configure a new IP address on the peer VPN device. Next, 
select the target cluster. When we hit Migrate Gateway Cluster, it will migrate all networks at once to the new cluster. In production scenarios, you first want to migrate a single network to verify the process runs successfully. Check the Migrate Single Network checkbox, then select the network you want to migrate. In the back, the gateway will be moved from the network to the new cluster. When the migration is finished, the right column will refresh automatically. On the cluster, you see a new gateway provisioned. Let's verify connectivity to the internet. In the Azure Pack portal, perform a refresh to see the new data. The customer can now also see the new gateway IP in the tenant portal that he needs to configure in the peer VPN device. The net rules and VPN connections are also migrated successfully. It's also possible to migrate the whole new cluster to another cluster. To perform this procedure, uncheck the Migrate Single Network and change the Source Gateway Cluster. Specify the new target and click on Migrate. You will experience a short disconnect. The view is refreshed when the procedure is completed. In the tenant portal you can see the VPN address is changed, the public IP is migrated and the NAT rules are also updated. That's it for now, I hope you enjoyed the tool. If you have any questions or suggestions please let me know. Happy deploying and importing and migrating.